All right, so this is a simple static to-do list website that I created literally 10 minutes ago. And overall, I like the design, except maybe there is one thing that I want to change. I want to have a dark version of this website. So I want to change the background color to be black and the text is going to be light gray or white. So in order to do that, I'm going to make some changes on the code. Let's open Winsor, which is the code editor that I'm using. And I'm going to ask the AI to make some changes to this website i'm going to ask you to change the overall color to dark and let's hit enter now ai in windsor will do its job to change all the elements or all the section in the code that is necessary and then later we are going to push this update to github and later the update will be reflected on the website all right now let's click accept all and i'm going to open github desktop and you can see here that github notified me that there are some changes just already being made in the code and i'm going to just click commit to main and this code is ready to be published or to be updated on my github account and i just need to click this push origin button and github will update this code to the repository on my github account and then later we can see the new version of the website now let's go back to the website and i'm going to refresh the page and hopefully we will see a dark mode of this website let's click the refresh button and there you go well it is not perfect but that's that's basically how easy it is to update your code to GitHub. So in this video, I'm going to show you on how you can use GitHub in your AI code editor like Windsor or Cursor, and you can easily update your code in a live project with just a few clicks. All right, before we start, I just want to let you know that this video is made for people that didn't code or don't have any technical knowledge, but still very much interested to build something unique or some app or a website using an AI code editor like Windsor or maybe Cursor. So I will try my best to explain the concept behind GitHub. So at the end of the video, you should be able to create a repository in GitHub, make some changes, and even clone a repository from your GitHub account to your computer so you can work directly in your local system and without further ado let's get into it all right for the first step you have to prepare your code editor it could be a vs code it could be cursor or it could be Windsor, which is the one that i'm going to be using you can get this ai code editor software by going to codium.com slash windsurf and after that you can install this program to your computer i actually made a tutorial video on how you can set up and install this program on your computer if you are interested you can check it out and later you can download github or desktop you can visit github.com slash app slash desktop and download this program to your computer and now i'm going to show you on how you can install github on your computer double click the github desktop and now we just need to wait until github is finishing the installation process and when the installation process has finished you can sign into your github account or if you haven't have one you can click create your account and it will open Open a browser where you can join github with your email or your google account but for me i already have an account so i'm going to click sign in to github.com and this is still will open a browser where i can uh, verify my account i'm going to just click continue and uh, it usually will go back to github or you will also see this message i'm going to click open so we can see github now you can select this option use my github account name and email address and let's click finish okay so it is basically done and it's very very simple this is probably going to be the first interface that you're going to be seeing when you are installing github for the first time and you can see the list of your repositories in your github account but for now we are going to skip this we are going to create a new repository so let's click file and click new repository i will call this repository hello world so repository is really just a folder that will contains all your codes in your project and please keep in mind that you cannot use space on the name you can use letters numbers uppercase lowercase but not space and after that you can add some description if you want to and you can select where you want to store this repository in your computer yes right now we are going to store this in our computer but later we are going to publish this to our github account and i highly recommend to initialize the repository with a readme file so this is going to be a simple text file that will contain the description or what is the repository is about and for the git ignore and license we can just ignore them and let's click create repository so this usually will take a few seconds now we just created a github repository but right now it still sits in our computer you have the option to publish the repository to your github account so let's click publish repository and again we have to select the name and i highly recommend to keep this code private unless if you are planning to share the code with
with your colleagues or with uh, everyone in the internet then you can uncheck this but if this is a private project then just enable keep this code private and then click publish repository okay i cannot create this repository because i already have one with the same name so i'm going to change the name a bit let's call this one hello world new let's click publish repository and later we are going to check this repository in our github account and there you go now i'm going to open browser and let's visit github i'm going to just go to my repository click your repositories and you should be able to see the repo that is called hello world or whatever name that you give to the repository file and this is the one that i just created and right now it is pretty much empty there is no file except for the readme and the git attributes file which is the ones that will be created by default by github and now i'm going to create some codes for this github repositories and you can launch your preferred code editor i'm going to be using windsurf and i'm going to ask ai to create a simple website which later i will put into that github repositories that we just created earlier okay let me adjust the view a little bit and let's make it bigger now in order to make some modifications to that github repositories you have to open the folder where you store the repositories so i'm going to click file click folder and here i'm going to select where i store the github repo i'm going to click documents and click github usually this is the default directory of github repositories in your computer but you could be storing it somewhere else and i'm going to open it this is the file that i just created earlier let's select folder and now we are ready to make some codes for this repo and by the way i think it is worth mentioning that repositories is often called repo for short and anyway let's click yes i trust the authors and now i'm going to yeah open the explorer actually open this so you, you can see all the files that are in that folder and i'm going to open the ai code editor feature in this editor by the way if you found this message you can close this this is not really necessary because we already have github and now i'm going to ask this ai editor this ai feature to create a simple static website that says hello world and i want to to have a nice design with some animations and let's hit enter and right now the ai is building some codes for the repositories but please remember that this file is still in our computer it is not yet in github and later we are going to update or push the code to our github repository okay now let's click accept all this is the code that the ai has created and by the way i'm going to preview the website before i'm uploading this to github and since this is an html file i can open this with a browser let's click on the index.html and let's click oh sorry reveal in file explorer and now i'm going to open a browser it could be google chrome it could be microsoft edge it could also be firefox if you prefer and i'm going to just click and then drag the index.html file into the area into the browser and we should be able to see the website that the ai just created for us so this is the simple hello world website that windsurf has created for me and i'm going to push this to my github repo so let's go back to github desktop and it usually will notice the changes that you just created and i'm going to see i'm going to review the code before i'm committing it and overall it looks pretty good and in this field you can name the changes that you've made this is just a simple way to track all the changes that you have made in the code for example if you change the style then you can tell that you just changed the style and then here you can also describe in this detail about those changes right now i'm going to call this one the first version and i'm going to click commit to main and then here you can click the push origin button to push the update to the github repo let's click it and there you go so the update has been pushed to the github repo and i'm going to go back to github to see the changes so right now there is only one update which is uh, the first time i created this github repo now if i refresh the page i should be able to see the new version of this repo and you can see that now there are two commits meaning that there are two updates on this repo and you can see there is an index.html file just created about a minute ago so yeah we just successfully updated our first github repo and for something more fun i'm going to deploy this website to a provider like cloudflare and later we are going to make some update while the website is 
live so let's go to cloudflare and if you haven't have a cloudflare account i highly recommend to have one because this service is just very useful for a lot of newcomers a lot of developers if, if you want to build a website then this is probably the best place to start anyway i'm going to log into my account and i'm going to deploy this website from my github account to cloudflare let's go to workers and pages and i actually have made a tutorial video about how you can deploy a static website to cloudflare without using github if you are interested you can check it out but of course the goal here is to involve github so we can easily update the website while the website is still running online now i'm going to click create and now let's go to pages and then here i'm going to click connect to git because again i'm using github so let's click on it and here i actually have connected my github account so i just need to select what repository that i'm going to use to be deployed let's click hello world new and let's click begin setup okay the project name is hello world new the production branch is main which is the only branch i have right now and everything else is the same so let's click save and deploy and well it's really quick this is the url of the website based on the code from the github repository and let's click the link to view the website that has been deployed on cloudflare and there you go it looks exactly the same as the one that we just preview locally yeah this is the website that we just created on windsurf and then hosted by github and then deployed by cloudflare now i'm going to make some changes to this website so let's go back to the code editor for now i'm going to make a simple change i will change the wording from hello world into something else okay so this is the wording hello world this is responsible for this section and i'm going to change it to hello world by chris ai and let's click file and then click save and now we can go back to github desktop and then here github will notice the changes that you have made and then here you can preview the changes and if you are confident about it you can click the commit main and we just need to wait until the code is being committed after that again we have to click the push origin button and we just need to wait for a few seconds until the update is being uploaded to the github repo and then later will immediately be reflected on a live website okay now let's go back to the browser and if you see your github repository you can refresh the page and you should be able to see the new commit that you just made so yeah i just updated index.html about one minute ago and now i'm going to refresh the website and the wording here should change let's refresh it and there you go hello world by chris ai pretty cool right and now i'm going to make yet another change let's go back to the code editor and here i'm going to use ai to make some changes on the code i'll ask it to change the background color to gradient orange and let's hit enter okay now you can see that this is the line of code that the ai has changed for me i'm going to click accept to accept the changes and then now let's go back to github again and here we can just uh, add some description to it i'm going to call this one change to orange background and let's click commit to main and then again we are going to click the push origin button let's click on it so this will take just a few seconds anyway i'm going to go back to the website and i'm going to refresh the page and hopefully we will see the new orange background of this demo website there you go now if you are unhappy or you think that you just made a mistake and you are not supposed to use an orange background you can always go back to the previous version of your code and that is one benefit of using github there is always a previous version of your code that you can always revert back i'm going to go back to the github desktop and then here you can navigate to the history section and this is the latest version of the website uh, i just changed the background to orange and this is the one that's still blue with blue background i'm going to right click on it and i'm going to click refer changes in commit and now we just need to wait and there you go now uh, this is becoming the new version of the website and you can actually just click push origin button or you can also click it from here uh, it's the same thing it's just pushing the update to the code in your github repository i'm going to click this button and we just need to wait until this new version or the old new version is updated to the github repository pretty easy right now i'm going to refresh the page and hopefully we should be able to get the previous version of the website 
and there you go so this is the previous version and unfortunately it also means that the wording has changed but that's the beauty of using github you can always go back to the previous version of your website you don't really have to worry about making some mistakes because there is always an undo option another thing that you can do with github desktop is you can clone a repository from your github account to your computer essentially if you have a repo that you want to edit or modify directly in your computer you can essentially download the files download the repo and then use the code editor in your computer to make some changes and of course uh, the first thing that you need to do is you have to open the github desktop application and here i'm going to click file and i'm going to click clone repository and it will list all the repos in my github account so do you remember the interactive to-do list web application that i just shown you earlier well it was actually on a different computer and if you don't realize it i actually running a virtual computer right now and i don't have the code in my computer and i'm going to just uh, clone the repository from my github account and save it to my uh, virtual computer let's click this github repo and let's click clone and it is cloning or downloading all the codes to my computer and we are ready in just a few seconds and there you go now i'm going to open a code editor i'm going to click file and click open folder and under documents and then github you'll see the clone repository in your computer i'm going to click on this folder and let's select folder click yes i trust the authors and there you go so this is the github repository that used to be on my github account but now it is on my computer and i can easily modify the code using the code editor locally in my computer and when you're done making changes you can always open github desktop and commit the changes to your github repository so it's really as simple as that however it is worth mentioning that github has a lot of features even the desktop version which actually caters towards beginner has a lot of things that you can do and unfortunately i'm not going to cover all of that because it's really just very complicated but at least the main functions like committing pushing and cloning a github repository are the things that you are going to do a lot when you are working on your project and you might have noticed that i'm using ai a lot when creating the codes because after all i'm not a very technical person if you are interested you can check out my videos about comparing the AI models in this ai code editor called windsor now we have gpt 40 cloud and cascade base and all of them are different and they have different strengths and weaknesses if you are interested to learn more about what ai model that you should be using for coding you can check out my video but in any case I wish you a great day ahead and take care.